Hey out there, all you viewers to play later. How we doing today? I got something really different, all right? As you know by that thumbnail, everything else you look at, it seriously just arrived a little bit ago. It's from the Army Painter. It is their hobby tool kit. You know, it says include some free super glue and all the tools needed to assemble any miniature army. Now, I got to tell you, when I first got into tabletop wargaming, I really don't believe the Army Painter was around. And I'll be honest with you, I first saw their stuff and I went, eh, okay, whatever. I'm not really going to give you any serious consideration. You're kind of like a knockoff company to me. But then I started watching some of their YouTube videos with their president and their painting competitions that they had in-house. And, you know, just their artists doing things. And I went, okay. I have been seriously impressed with their tools that I've gotten so far. And when I saw this, I went, all right, because, well, the pin vise. And yes, I bought the separate kit that they have with different bits. But when I saw this, I went, all right, let's get a whole kit in and see what they got in here. So let's open it up and take a look. Oh, that's interesting. So basically, <laughs> there's your box. They give you a uh, painting guide. We'll get into that later. And tool and assembly safety guide. Okay, I kind of like that. And there's basically like the little catalog of all their tools. And I'll be honest, I've gotten a bunch of their stuff, especially their brushes. There's something about their brushes that has been seriously, seriously impressing me. I like the fact that you got all the tools in a neat little plastic container. So I thought that was really cool. All right, I'm already happy. Um, oh, wait, before I even forget... Uh, what do we got here? As of Tuesday, October 4th, 2022, this is currently $24.47 on Amazon. It is Prime One Day eligible. Their X-Acto knife comes with cap. I like that. I've picked up some recently where there's no cap, where you just have to put it, you know, point down inside a cup or something, and hope you don't stab yourself, which is always a good thing. You know? Okay, so, oh, it is kind of a rubberized little grip on the hobby blade. I like that. I, yeah. I don't know, we'll get to the switching blades later, but that that's comfortable. That's really, really comfortable. Good job, guys. I would have never thought about a rubberized grip on one of those because I'm used to so many things with metallic. Oh, that's not a good thing. So, either it got really warm somewhere, because their stuff of green stuff seems to be all over everything. And yeah, they give you a little thing of super glue. So, okay. You know what? <laughs> There's their little three-sided file, which I think is kind of cool. Gets you, gets you into different areas pretty good. I've already got a lot of green stuff from them, so I'm okay. I'm going to have to kind of sacrifice that stuff. Because, yeah. It, one side of the pack melted. Really, it, yeah, not good. Not your fault, Army Painter. I got it through Amazon, so anything could have happened. It could have been on a shelf. The delivery truck could have been really, really, really hot. Not your fault, guys. I ain't blaming you. Because, yeah, it... Oops. How did I get that out of there? Okay. Still, you get some green stuff, but obviously, as you saw, it didn't end up good. You get, like, their little... I call it a smoothing tool, but I know it's a sculpting tool. All right, with the little scoop out for, like, um technical paints and that kind of thing to get them on your base, you know, move them around. I like to give you the big arrowhead one. I thought that was kind of cool. Well, I think that's kind of cool. Sorry. Not, I thought. Hurt. <laughs> All right. They give you a little wrench to help um, remove stuff. There's your pin vise, which I think is kind of cool. And they give you, I thought I was only going to get like one bit or something, but they give you two bits which I thought was really cool. Um, 
I haven't done a lot with pin vices in my modeling career so far. Honestly, I've really never pinned anything, but I know I'm going to have to with some stuff. But uh, it just slips on like that to help you tighten and loosen it. Oh, what else we got? Sorry. We have their version of, well, some clippers, which I've been using stuff from a store, but thankfully I've got a sprue handy. So let's just give it a test clip. Dang. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Real clean line going through there. Seriously. Really, really clean. Now there was a head on here. I really... Oh, there it is. There's a head on there I really wanted to keep. Wow. All right. Barely any flash left on that thing. It got in there really close. I'm liking those things. Not a bad little kit for the money, seriously. Um, I really don't know if I'm going to contact them. Smash make, missing or broken items. I don't know. I, it's not their fault with the green stuff. It's really not. <clears throat> they package it up pretty good. Matter of fact, that packaging that they have in there is kind of like the same stuff they had when you buy it off the rack. I just, I can't fault them. It probably just got hot. I can't. Uh, what else we got? Ah, well, basically like their little catalog. So, we're at the point of the video that I think is kind of cool. Because I did, I really wanted a pin vise. But for what a local gaming store was selling a pin vise for, why not buy a whole big kit, right? Pretty good, right? <laughs> but yeah, I want to know your... Questions, comments, love, hatred, and anger. All that fun stuff right down below. Have you bought the kit by Army Painter? Do you use Army Painter stuff? Because I have yet to go in for some of their paints, but I will be. I really want to try out some of their speed paints, um, their dip stuff. I've been seeing videos on. That might look interesting to try to get that down to get um, quick shading, for lack of a better phrase, done. You know, just put your base coats on, dip it, and go from there. I... I'm impressed with what I've seen by the Army Painter. And guys, I don't know if you will ever watch this video. Your YouTube videos are what brought me to you. Seriously. Well, that and the grass tufts. I got I really love your grass tufts. They are so simple. Off, a little bit, little bit of Elmer's glue. Boom, right on base. Done. Perfect. Now, like I said, all that fun stuff being said. Guys, if you could, give me a big old thumbs up. Seriously, it's only going to show love and support for the channel, and that is always appreciated, especially if I made you laugh, made you cringe, made you cry, made you do any of that during this video. I know I kind of made myself cringe a little because, yeah, I've got plenty of green stuff. I just, I can't blame them for that. And no, I won't be reaching out for a replacement because I just, no, I just don't. But still, ugh. but there we go, guys. My quick unboxing of the Army Painter Hobby Tool Kit. Well worth the money. Seriously, well worth the money. Don't worry, I'm going to leave a link right down below to Amazon if you guys ever want to pick it up. I generally try to do that on my videos just because you never know what you guys may need. I want to make it easier for you to find. Now, I hope all of you... Oh, God, my, my head's going everywhere. Sorry, I'm a little bit excited. I'm a little bit blown away by those clippers. Yeah. Man, it's a good day to be a hobbyist. It really is. But with that being said, I hope all of you are having a great day. A safe day, and I hope one day to see all of you across the tabletop.